If you're someone who uses powder foundation, do you find that it looks great in the morning, but by the end of the day, it looks like you literally have makeup paste all over your face? The powder foundation might be the culprit. And in today's video, we're gonna dive into powder foundation, how it works, and who it's right for. was always one of my go-to's. I've always had really oily skin and so all throughout high school I would just powder, powder, powder. And usually I would do this over a liquid. But powder foundations can be used over a liquid if you want more full coverage or on their own if you're looking for something that really just evens skin tone throughout the day. In addition, there are different types of powder foundations. There's some that are loose powders, literally puffs of powder everywhere, and some that are compact powders, meaning that those powder pigments are pressed in together and compacted. What's the difference and what's right for your skin. A loose powder versus a pressed powder really doesn't have a major difference. Mainly it's the ingredients that you want to look for. Some powders have more emollients or more oils in them. This means that they will apply to the skin more evenly and more smoothly and cover texture better. Yet some other powders tend to be a little bit drier and definitely made from sort of a mineral base. These are going to stick to fine baby hairs better and act a little bit more like a setting powder on top of the skin. So now that we understand this, how do we make sure that it looks good throughout the day? The thing about powders is that they can get cakey, and not just when you apply them. They could also get cakey throughout the day when your oil mixes with them. Our skin naturally lubricates itself with sebum. It's how our skin nourishes itself and transports antioxidants and omega fatty acids. But unfortunately, when that sebum tends to mix with some different powders, it can make it really gummy and cakey, especially if those powders contain talc, which is an ingredient you want to avoid. Another common ingredient that tends to get a little bit gummy is bismuth oxychloride. It has a structure that could also be a little bit more crystalline, which could cause micro tears in the skin. Now, there are some powders that are made of bamboo or pressed and crushed rice and peaches, which are not only natural, but that rice is really absorbent, so it can help absorb the oil, keeping it away from your skin without getting cakey. At the end of the day, the choice to use a powder is up to you. If you want something that's a little bit more mattifying or just evens out the color, this is the right way to go. But if you are looking to cover major issues such as pigmentation, such as scars, or some really bumpy texture, you're probably gonna want to go for a liquid cream or pancake foundation. I hope that you learned a little something from this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and if you applied the powder a little bit too heavily in high school, leave a comment below and let me know about your worst makeup mistake. I believe that cosmetics don't have to be confusing. This entire minimal makeup series is about getting back to basics, talking about what you actually need, and empowering you with the tools and information to make the right decisions for your beauty routine. A new minimal makeup video is posted every Monday at 11 a.m. and I would love to have you here to join the conversation and get green and clean with your beauty. I love you so much and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.